All right, hello. I am on to share a quick, what is it? Curried salmon dish with cauliflower rice. So I'll turn the camera around to just show you the ingredients. Okay. Okay, so here are the ingredients right here. I have three pieces of wild caught salmon, which I bought from Costco. And then I have some organic rice cauliflower that I purchased from Trader Joe's. Total game changer. I used to actually buy the heads of cauliflower and then put it in the blender and that was just an absolute mess. It was good, but it was just a very long, messy process as far as I was concerned. So I was super excited when uh, Trader Joe's came out with this and I really really like it all that's in there you could see in the ingredients is organic cauliflower and sea salt and I've bought different rice cauliflower before from different brands in different places and honestly this has been the winner all the time others have been too mushy when you warm it up just not a good thing so this is my go-to then I have over here the fire roasted bell peppers and onions, and these are from Trader Joe's as well. Um, pretty straightforward there. And then I have some basil leaf, like a half a handful, and I just pretty much purchased the plant from Trader Joe's, and I have been using it the last few months, just kind of cutting it off and uh, it just grows back, which has been proven to be more economical than just buying the bunch of basil leaves. So that's that. And then I have some curry powder. Turmeric. Garlic powder. Salt. Pepper coconut cream and coconut milk. Got these from Trader Joe's again, I love it. Nothing added, just the organic coconut milk and they add water, as water but there's no uh, preservatives or anything like that. So I really, really love, love, love this. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much, and quite honestly, you could just use coconut milk if you would like, but this is all that I have on hand right now. And let's go ahead and get started with the cooking process. Um, all that I do is I put the cauliflower rice uh, on a sheet pan along with some of these peppers and some Kerrygold butter. Let's see, we demolished this. So obviously I have a lot more than one bag on here because I have we're a family of eight, but just for those that are cooking for a smaller crowd, what I would typically, what I recommend is just using one bag of cauliflower rice, a half a cup of the fire roasted pepper, and one tablespoon of butter. And obviously the butter is not melted, but I'm gonna pop it in the oven and once the bulk butter melts a little bit more, I'll kind of stir it around. And you can melt your butter beforehand, or you can use another cooking fat. You can use avocado oil, you can use coconut oil, baking grease, just whatever works for you. I prefer the butter because it just gives it a richer taste. You can also use ghee. So for one bag of cauliflower rice, you do a half a cup of the bell peppers along with the butter or your cooking fat of choice. And then in the end, you're gonna season with salt and pepper, or you could even use onion salt. It's totally up to you. But um, I find that putting it on a sheet pan really helps with the texture for it to not be uh, just, uh, what is it, mushy and gross. It just always turns out good. So right now I have my oven preheated to 450. My, I have an older oven, so for you, you probably wanna put it at 400. And I typically just bake this in the oven for 25 minutes or so. 
Okay, now I'm going to cook the salmon. So I have the three pieces of salmon and I'm just gonna season it with a little bit of salt. You season it to taste. And if you look over here, I have the pot going with some avocado oil. It's already pretty hot pot. And I am just going to Okay, you go cook each side of the salmon for three minutes or so because you don't want to dry the salmon out. And once it's um, partially cooked, I just use my fork to break it up. I left the skin on the salmon. You can choose to take it off. Then I pour in the coconut milk and the coconut cream. And once that is done, then I am ready to add the other spices to the pot. For the spices, I have three tablespoons of curry powder, one tablespoon of turmeric, one teaspoon of garlic powder, one tablespoon, one teaspoon, I'm sorry, of black pepper, and then of course, salt to taste. So I stir all the contents of the pot together and then I turn my stove up to a high heat and let it boil or so for five minutes. As you can see, the color of the curry and turmeric is really shining through. It's a really pretty dish, at least in my opinion. So you stir it around for about five minutes or so the fresh basil leaves for about a minute or two and I added some more salt because I tasted the mixture and realized I needed to season it a little bit more. Then after that you can add the peppers and the onion mixture to the pot. Now keep in mind that these are already cooked, they're frozen and it's only going to take like two minutes or so for them to really just get heated through in the pot. This is a really okay, good so right here I have the curried salmon with the vegetables on top of the rice. Absolutely a delicious and satisfying meal. Give it a try and let me know how it okay, turns Can I get feedback? It was very Thank good. You. Good? Yeah. Feedback, how was it? Delicious. Feedback, how good. was it? Good. Ooh. Feedback, how was it, Faith? Good. Good? Isaiah, how is it? Good. Good.